So today we are finally going to be doing the finale of One Bunny in a World Full of Wolves. This story is by Rosie and Maria. Now this one in particular came out while I was on my YouTube break in Portugal. And I've been posting consistently on my vlog channel if you guys want to find out what I've been doing and all that stuff. But of course I will have the original and I'll have a playlist of all the parts in the description down below. But today we're going to be doing part 6, the finale. <laughs> Pika, calm down a little, please. <gasps> that heartless James. <sighs> Come on, Pika, please stand up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how sad now. You don't have anyone you can count on, Pika. Do you love how it feels? First, you ended my son on my own hands. And second, you made me lose my one and only wife because of you. <laughs> Now you're really giving me a headache, Pika! So why not I let you meet your parents again, huh? <laughs> this guy is really crazy! Pika! Watch out! James! Uh, what? Run away, you little idiot! Huh? Who is that? Uh, hey, who are you? And, and what do you think you're doing, huh? Uh, what just happened right now? What the? Who was that guy who took Tyler away? Shut it, you old man. Does it look like we know? Y'all are gonna pay for this! Ugh, especially you, Steve, because you're the main reason I fought with my wife! Ugh. Uh, you, who are you? And where do you think you're taking us, huh? huh? Did you just take us to my house? I mean, how do you even know where I live? Oh my gosh! There's no way! No, there is a way, Pika. I'm still alive. You idiot! I thought you were really gone! Anyways, how come you're still alive? Uh, Alright, so let's just say that I actually was going to die at that time, but thank goodness I survived, so no need to worry now. Wait a second, if you said that you actually survived at that time, then how come the news of your death spread so fast? Uh, about that... Uh, Pika! Oh no, he's dying! Someone help! Uh, uh, where am I? And that's what happened at that time. Then how did you run away from the hospital? I mean, how come your body was there? Oh, about that. It was actually a copy of my body back then, but I got rid of it now. You're really out of your mind, you know. Oh, really? But compared to you, I'm too smart then. You little... He's not just smart. He's also kind and strong. Huh? Who's this now? You can come out now, my uncle's wife. His uncle's wife? Could it be? <gasps> Mom, is that really you? Yes, honey, it's me. I'm still alive. It's still Liam. He's the one who saved me. Did I say something wrong? Not at all, Mom. It's just... Uh, thank you for helping her, Liam. And thank you for staying alive for me. It's nothing, Pika. I promised you that I'd always stay by your side with everything. <laughs> A few hours later... You can go to your room now, Pika. I'll be okay. Good night then, Mom. Have good dreams. This guy's really clingy. He never leaves Pika alone. Right, now I'm alone with this dumb guy again. Sorry, guys, that I'm late. I just had to make sure my mom's sleeping well. Oh, you're not late at all, Pika. No need to worry. It's going to say anyway. Tyler. Anyways, now, if you're both ready, then I'm going to tell you my plan to end James Oman. I'm ready, even though he's my dad. I won't have any mercy on him, just like how he did to me and any other creature. Liam, you're always really loyal to me. The next day... Why, get, why do I always feel tired when I wake up in the morning? Okay, I must quit talking to myself or else others will think I'm crazy. Today is going to be my revenge day. <gasps> oh, make sure you meet your parents again, little girl. Just wait until I end you with my own hands, James Omani. <sighs> my mind just keeps thinking of him. I want to take revenge on him so bad. Come on, Tyler, just share it with him all. No way! This guy's a monster when it comes to food! Oh, really? Says the one who's literally holding it to eat ball by himself! What's going on right here? Oh, thank 
goodness, you woke up, Pika. Come and stop these two. They're literally gonna give me a headache from their fighting. Is that true, guys? Well, he's the one who started it. He literally wants to eat the pie so fast. Uh, stop lying. I wasn't gonna eat it that fast. Uh, just eat it, you both. I'm not hungry at all. Are you sure, Pika? Yeah, I mean, look, it can feed all of us together. Don't eat it, you both. It followed me to school. Both can really ruin anyone's mood in the middle of the morning. Uh, eat it. So you eat it. I don't want to anymore. Later? Uh, Pika, are you going to school like that? What do you mean, huh? Um, what he means is, are you really going to school without hiding your bunny ears and tail? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Are you out of your mind, Pika? What if some other wolf see you and kidnap you again? Don't worry, Liam. That's not gonna happen. Because I have my plan that will make us stronger than we are right now. Really? What is it then? I'll tell you both about it later. So like for now, just follow me to school. Uh, I don't have a good feeling about this. Well, don't underestimate Pika. Because that little bunny might seem like she can't do anything without help. But she can actually be stronger than me and you, Liam. Whatever. Great. Now all I need to do is to show the world that it's normal for bunnies or any other creature to live. Uh, hey, look behind you. There's a bunny in our world. <gasps> What's wrong, huh? What are you looking at? Isn't it normal for bunnies to live here after what the wolves did to their world? You're talking about, little girl. So I guess no one knows the truth about our world. Uh, please excuse me. I have more important things I need to take care of. Weird. Who even was this girl? I don't know, but is she aware that there's a lot of wolves out there that can haunt her? She's aware, but she doesn't care because she's too strong for them to defeat her. Uh, wait a second. Are there real fangs in your mouth? Are you a vampire? Yes, and I would suck anyone's blood right now because I'm really thirsty. Ah! I really didn't have to scare them, you know. I told you I was trying to scare them. I'm actually really thirsty. Uh! <laughs> My plan. Oh, Pika! Is that you? Yes, Andy, it's me, your best friend. Uh, so she's really a bunny, as they said. What's wrong? Are you going to stop hanging out with me just because I'm a bunny, Andy? So, then I guess it was nice meeting you too, bestie. Uh, stop talking nonsense, you dummy! I will always be your best friend, no matter what you are. Thank you for your loyalty, Andy. You really are a true friend. <gasps> what the? Does Andy really still support Pika, even though she's a bunny. I mean, what's wrong with her being a bunny, huh? What do you mean by what's wrong? Do you not see anything wrong with bunny Amber? Not at all, Sarah. And if you ask why, then I'm gonna tell you. It's because I'm not a wolf like all of you. You're not a wolf like us? Oh, what do you mean by that, Amber? <gasps> I'm a dragon, Sarah. And if you don't accept me, then it's totally fine. <gasps> what? I feel like I'm losing my wolf. dragon all this time and she didn't tell us about it? It's not the right time for me, Max. I'll talk to you later. Pika being a bunny, second Tyler being a vampire, and now it turns out that our best friend Amber's a dragon and not a wolf. Ugh. I mean, what's next? I don't mind having different creatures in our school, but... Uh... Look, I might have lied to you before that I was hiding my wolf form, but I'm not. I'm actually a vampire, and I want your guys' help with something. Uh, we actually knew that before, but we never knew you'd admit that to us one day. But don't worry, we're always here for you, boss. Great, then. Here's the plan, guys. Tell's plan. Woo! Of course we're here for that, boss. Who wouldn't want to take revenge on their enemy, huh? <laughs> Is that real you? Yes, Pika. I'm also not a wolf. I'm actually a dragon. What's wrong? Why are you looking at me as if I'm the only one who's different here? Uh, me? No, 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 really. It's just, I'm really surprised how many people were hiding their real form. I know we shouldn't be hiding our real forms, but you know that there are a lot of dangerous wolves out there who would haunt people like us. Uh, not anymore, Amber. What do you mean by not anymore? Do you have any plan on your mind? Exactly. I know you guys might be surprised by how I am, but... You're still alive? Uh, uh, yes, 
Yes, he is. This man is nine lives. Nine lives? Man, are you a cat? No! Anyways, Liam said that he'll be helping us with our plan. So, what do y'all think? I mean, a person with nine lives can be helpless to us, right, Mateo? Right! <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna leave just because I think I'm wasting my time with you all. Ugh. You little idiots. You know we could have used him to help us with a few important things. You know I'm still here, right? Uh, after all of that, everyone accepted to work with Pika and to take revenge on Jade's own mind. Hours later... Did you find where my aunt is, Max? Yes, Pika. She's with Jade's own money. I knew it! So now he's going to threaten me with her to stop me from ending him. But he only knows that I've said everything ready this time. What should I do now, Miss Pika? You will get here before anything bad happens to her. But there's a lot of guards there. Do you think it's safe for me to go alone there? I know there's a lot of guards there, and it might be a little dangerous to go now. But since I have a plan on my mind, there should be nothing to worry about. Whatever you say then, I'm gonna take my leave now. Now, let's see who's gonna stop me from winning tonight, Mr. James. <laughs> I know, I'm almost there. <laughs> oh, and there she is. She looks like she cried a lot during these days. Her husband's really evil, leaving his own wife alone here for a few days without checking on her. Anyways, let me get her out of here comes. <laughs> Excuse me, who are you? Don't worry, ma'am. I'm here to save you. Oh, look who came back. <laughs> Not only did you run away, but working against me and taking my wife from me, huh? <laughs> you thought I wouldn't find you and end you, Max. Pika, where are you? Okay, come on, Pika. It's our time. Okay, then. Let's go now. Ah! You're not a wolf? Yes, yeah, so what? Huh? Do you have a problem with what I am? You little... You will end here! No, James! Please don't end it too! Sir James, please come out and see what's happening! What's wrong? And why are you in a rush, huh? It's Pika, sir! And what's wrong with her, huh? Is she here? Um, she's on the rooftop, and she said that she'll push off your son! Uh, Liam! Uh, Pika, you little... You better leave my son right away! Or I'll send all my guards against you! I I won't leave your son until you leave Max! Ugh, you little... Fine, I'll set him free! But you gotta get down and leave my son first! Sir, are you sure about that? You gotta do what they say! Accepted! Your son is fully free right now! Come down, my son! <laughs> Dad! I can't believe you're alive, son! Now you just come and stand next to me so nothing happens to you! How idiotic you are, Pika! Did you really think I would leave your stupid friend Max? What's wrong, Dad? Are you talking to me? Because I'm your son Liam and not Pika! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second! Did you both just switch? Yes! <laughs> she got James all money! Alrighty, you guys, so that was the finale, part six of One Bunny in a Whole World of Wolves. This story is by Rosie and Maria, so I'll have the original in the description down below, along with the playlist of all six parts if you haven't checked them out already. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other gotcha stories you'd like to see me react to next. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you're new, subscribe to Mermaid or Merman. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.